Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I am with Sew Yours. Today we are doing a quick sewing studio tour. It might look exactly like you're used to behind me, but we have actually moved locations for the sewing studio. So today I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough. It looks very similar to my uh, sewing uh, tour video that I did Gosh, I think it was about a year and a half ago when we moved into the new sewing studio, but now we're no longer there. Uh, what we've done is we have gotten a second unit in the same plaza next to our Dunallen, Florida shop. And that is so that I can be close to the shop. If the staff need me at all, I can just pop over there. It's just a short walk down the way and I can help anybody out that needs, uh, has any questions or any customers want to uh, say hi to me. So it's been very convenient. I've been in this space now for just a a little over a month um, so I've settled in pretty well so let me give you the tour I'm just going to uh, go ahead and walk around with my camera I'll do my best not to uh, be shaky um, but let's go ahead and get started all right here is a quick overview of the space I am not going to show you in the back there that is just a lot of separate rooms that we use for our inventory. We clip quickly grew out of the uh, back room in the shop and needed more space. That's why we also grabbed this unit is so that we can store all of our inventory. Um, in addition for me to be able to work out of here, I've got my desk in the back there, all of my sewing machines here. And then this is where I do all of my sewing and filming for the YouTube videos. So let's start off in the uh, front right, right here. I have my Text 45, Text 70, and my serger threads right there on that shelf. This is all my personal hardware and my beading. Um, then we have my uh, Arbor Press and Rivet Press. If you do bag making on the regular, I highly recommend getting yourself a Rivet Press. Um, it's a game changer. I also recommend getting yourself a uh, heat press of some sort if you make bags on the regular. It is a game changer for pressing your um, interfacings and stabilizers to your fabrics. This is my Singer heat press I got about a year ago on Facebook Marketplace for like 40 bucks. So check Facebook Marketplace in your area. You might be able to find a good deal on a heat press. Here is my backdrop just like it was at the last studio tour. And most of these, fat, well, basically all of these fabrics are my personal stash that I've collected over the years. Now I haven't been um, making many bags from these fabrics lately since I've opened up my own shop. I've been doing a lot of shopping from my own store. These uh, cabinets down here are from Amazon. Uh, links to these cabinets, uh, the, uh, what else, the lighting right here. All of this is going to be in my Amazon storefront. I'll put a link in the description box below. So that way you can check out those items if there's anything that's interests you. I do want to point out uh, this amazing contraption that my husband went ahead and built since we have drop ceilings here in this unit. Uh, he wasn't able to secure our lighting to the ceilings. So he made this really cool contraption. And it's wonderful because I don't have to trip over um, any tripods or anything like that when I'm doing my filming. So that is my lighting setup. And that right there is where I attach my cell phone when I am filming. It drops down and um, does all these different angles and things like that that I need. This is my catch-all area, just like in my last um, sewing studio tour. I uh, just kind of throw all of my interfacings and stabilizers there. Down below, I've got all of my um, zippers. Zippers are in there too, some project boxes. And then along my tabletops here, um, I also have some sewing patterns that I am currently working on writing and I'm hoping to release them this year. Um, everything keeps getting pushed off because with the store, uh, I've just been so busy, but these are some projects that I'm working on. So that's that. Uh, cutting mat, love it. I've been using it for a year. This is the big uh, mat cutting surfaces.com. Um, it's not a self healing mat. Uh, it does have this little scraper that you scrape the burrs down. Highly recommend it, uh, especially love it because it's white. Um, I think it's great for my YouTube videos, having that white kind of neutral um, surface there that I'm filming on versus some of those that are green or gray or pink. So I like that. Uh, let's see here. So here's the front view. Added these little privacy curtains in the middle because I felt like a fish 
in a fishbowl with everybody walking by and people kept trying to come in. I had to hang a sign to say that we're not open to the public since this is only my private um, space right here. Uh, right here is all of my photography uh, backdrops, uh, lighting. Uh, that's my photo booth right there. Um, right here is a project that I have to photograph tomorrow. And this is the Glam and Go uh, hardware, or start, sorry, this is the Glam and Go kit that we'll be releasing on Friday. So I do need to photograph that. So you are going to get all of the uh, interfacing stabilizers and fabrics, hardware and zippers and zipper pulls to make this particular Glam and Go, which um, this vinyl is only exclusively available in our Dunellen Florida shop. And if you want that vinyl, you're going to have to purchase the hardware kit, or sh I should call it the Glam and Go kit um, for this bag that's releasing on Friday. I've got some more backdrops back there and some bags for my ring lights, tripod, ring light, um, again, my photo booth. Uh, this is zippers that I need to photograph for the website. These are just my backdrop props right here for filming. Some more filming equipment there. And then I've got all of my sewing machines set up, which is lovely to have everything available. This is my brother, basic domestic sewing machine. I use that mostly for zigzag stitching um, and for doing like a ruffled edges uh, on apparel. So that's what I use there. This is my brand new sewing machine that I was able to get. Now that I have this space, I had always wanted an industrial machine, but didn't have the room before. So I got the Juki 1541S. I got that from Juki Junkies. Highly recommend them. They have excellent customer service. And I am learning to love the machine. There's a little bit of a learning curve on what it can and can't do. Uh, realize that you can't sew some of those thinner fabrics. Um, so now I kind of know what to do. But I love it because it goes through the thickest of fabrics with ease. Uh, just pointing out my machines again. You probably saw all these in the last videos. But this is my uh, cover stitch. So this is the Juki uh, 1500N. And like I said, I do do um, apparel. I do a lot of stretch knit apparel. Most of the clothing that you see in uh, my videos, especially my dresses, I make. Um, I got a keyboard and a mouse. I've got a, a computer that needs to go back because it's under warranty and not working. So that's just sitting there for the moment. Um, but here is my, um, my Juki serger. So this is the 2000 QVP. So as you can see, I am a Juki girl. I've said that before. I think the machines are superb, um, well-built, and I would highly recommend them to anybody. Uh, let's see here. Here's my desk. Oh, I got another machine too. So this is my original Juki, which I love it. It's my baby. Um, I still find myself sewing on this even more than the industrial now, but this is the Juki TL 18 QVP. Uh, it's a semi-industrial sewing machine. Um, it does sew with text 45 thread, um, just fine in the uh, upper and the bobbin, if anybody's interested in that. I hear a lot of questions now with uh, me selling the text 45 thread. Does it work? Uh, it does, and it works in most domestic machines. All right, here is my desk space. So it's very similar to the last place. The only thing that my husband did was he expanded it right here to give me more room since we had more space right here. Um, so I got my printer. I got a Cricut uh, machine, Cricut maker, Cricut press. I never use that Cricut press um, now that I have the Singer heat press. And then here uh, is a little shadow box I made recently on my Cricut. And then here is just my catch-all um, for things. Kind of messy right here. I got a beautiful flower right here for my husband for my birthday, which was about a week ago. So that is my computer setup. Uh, that is pretty much it. Like I said, the rest of this is just storage in the back for all of our inventory for our Dunnell in Florida store. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to let you know uh, where I got something that you might be interested in the video, but check out our Amazon storefront because I've got a lot of that already there in the Amazon storefront. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye-bye.